All right, hey Libra. So I'm just doing an energy check-in for those of you who are dealing with a person on your mind. And this is going to be messages this person wants you to know. Um, or, you know, what the next, the, what, what this person wants you to hear. All right, so you're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this person. So if that doesn't resonate, check Moon Rising and Venus Placements. And um, if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I hope you subscribe if you like my vibe. And for those of you who are waiting for the Twin Flame um, energy check-ins and the July birthday reads, uh, those are going to be out between this evening and tomorrow. So just uh, hang in there for me. Have some patience. All right. So let's just see what your energy is. You have judgment card coming through. The high priestess. The ace of coins. You're like... I know that this person's supposed to be here for a reason. Sorry, I dropped some cards. Um, all right, so here's what I'm going to say. Let me get adjusted. All right, so your energy um, in total. All right, I feel like you're definitely looking at this as a missed opportunity. The Four of, of Cups is kind of just waiting, wishing, and hoping. All right, that this uh, situation is going to be one that comes back around just as well as having that judgment card come through um judgment is the angels of the past all right so it's kind of like i feel you guys kind of looking at the situation that you're going through the connection um with this person regardless of how long ago it's been um i want i this is not over it can't be over because my feelings run too deep for this um, person and this connection all right the ace of coins coming through uh, maybe you thought it was going to lead to commitment maybe it was supposed to lead to commitment all right, but um, it's like it, it didn't, you know, it's fallen through. The High Priestess card um, coming through here, it could just be that you're kind of leveling up within your own journey. Um, but this is also kind of uh, holding out hope, I feel, for maybe somebody that you think is unattainable. All right, which I, I, I don't feel... I don't feel like that's so even if you feel like that um, because you deserve every bit of how you feel for a person. You could just be totally smitten with this person and, and you know, something happened and, you know, they went left and you were going right. And um, maybe you feel like this this person um, holds this energy where they're too good or whatever. All right. But it's that's not it. Um, you guys have a connection right here. I could just tell based off your energy, this was supposed to be something that, that you felt um, is, is going to go real far. That's what I feel, Libra. Um, I feel like you were hoping for a commitment, and I feel like you still are, and you're still calling this person in. It can't be over with, right? The High Priestess card, too. It could just be that you, you look at this person as a soulmate. That's a soulmate card. How do you feel about this person? How are you feeling? I don't know why I'm dropping these cards. The Knight of Swords. So you could be dealing with somebody that's younger than you. Um, look at that. The Hierophant card right there with the High Priestess. This is, a, this is a very special connection for you. How do you feel about them? Look at that. Ten of Coins. You could see life happening right before your eyes you got the one in ten it's like i feel like i could start something with this person and end it all the way until the end of life um you're very drawn to this person you see a lot could happen you see a lot of potential with this person the knight of swords is all about um success moving forward going the distance you see that but i almost kind of feel too like it's like as a side note though this person still kind of left in haste um you could have left in haste, however, whatever ended, however you guys disconnected. Um, I just feel like it, it, it was done in haste, but you actually have a lot of faith in this uh, um, connection right here, Libra. So the person that's on your mind, what is their energy? What is their energy? The strength card, look at that. There, so your energy is the high priestess and there's the magician, you guys. This is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the Hierophant card coming through. So this right here is telling me that this is a, a very, very special connection, and that's why you're feeling that with your intuition, with your gut. 
all right there's a reason why this connection feels special and it's because it is special um this person they're coming through manifesting the connection back together they don't want it to be over with yet the strength card shows that this person is holding out some hope um, that you guys are going to be able to work on it but it just depends on your background who left who what was said what was done all right this right here these three cards right here um give me um a lot of faith for your connection libra all right so what is their intentions towards you the person that libra is dealing with look at that so their intentions they're kind of waiting for um fate to step in all right you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with heavy water in their chart um but look at their intentions towards you all right they don't definitely don't want it to be over with yet, but I feel like this person's working on purging some less than desirable behaviors. The devil card to me is all about the 3D, the ego, the uh, senses, uh, touch, taste, hear, and smell. All right. And I feel like they are purging. Um, they're, they're purging some, some less than desirable cycles because you guys do have this really deep connection right here. All right. So their intentions towards you, I do feel is wholesome, but they're not, there's still some, some lingering energy that's not going to be um, sufficient to this connection or your guys's cause. All right. The, the wheel of fortune says that this person, look at that. And the queen of cups, this person knows that you deserve somebody really good. It doesn't matter if they're a man or a woman, they know that you deserve somebody who's whole, compassionate. Their heart chakra is wide open. They're emotionally available. All right. And it could be that you're just dealing with somebody who's not emotionally available. They still hold on to 3D situations and attachments. And their intentions towards you, I do feel, are positive. Um, but this person's trying to work with their own angels and spirit guides. And I see the Wheel of Fortune as angels and spirit guides taking over. This person, um, I feel like they are in tune with the fact that this could be a faded relationship. But they also know that they need help because uh, Libra, I feel this person thinks that you deserve the best. All right. Um, so I feel like their overall energy when it comes to you is very, very positive, but I, I feel like they're still holding on to situations that are not positive. Uh, it could just all be mental too. So what does this person want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? Look at that. Just all these, these, all this alignment, man. Look at, I, I am here. Okay, I, I'll tell you this. I'm sorry for being wishy-washy. I'm sorry for not being able to make up my mind. I'm sorry for whatever um, my part was, my role was, and not being able to make a sound decision. But I've been through a lot, and I'm working through it. All right, I'm trying to be the person that you need, which is your divine counterpart. I know this is a soul connection, but I still need time. All right, even coming through as the emperor. The emperor is uh, the magician um, after the magician has a baby with the uh, high priestess, and then the high priestess becomes the empress. This person's obviously trying to tell you they have growing to do. All right, and it's going to take time coming through with this knight of, of coins card. This person's been through a lot, and they just want you to know that. All right, and it's hard for this person, especially if you're dealing with earth energy it's hard for this person to express themselves so what is the next move what is this person's next move the next 30 days they're coming back they are come wow man libra just it's so crazy look at that you have the high priestess and the magician you got the emperor and the empress coming through on drop man this is like big my heart's just like wow my heart just um, it just like totally went up through my throat because I was so excited to see that drop. All right. So their next move is they're coming out of this uh, being at an impasse. The two of wands in reverse says that this person's making a decision and they're going to walk forward to you towards you. Um, the ace of wands. This is new beginnings. We're going to do it, man. You inspire me. All right. I want to show you my growth and I want to show you what I actually feel for you because I've never been able to express that before. And I'm going to come through and I'm going to blow your mind. All right. That's what this person is coming through and saying, wow, Libra, whoa, could be dealing with an Aries on top of that. All right. Um, I see a lot of earth energy in here too. I don't really feel like the signs matter. Not on a, not on an occasion like this. All right. So let's just see what your advice is. Your advice. next 30 days is going to be huge libra your ancestors and spirit guides and angels are just telling you just to to come out of it all right come out of it 
what what um where this person has walked away look at it as they're coming back towards you okay communication all right the stronghold the partnership the soulmate the communication is here it's coming back to you there's going to be no more hesitation no more drawbacks and no more secrets no more heartbreak no more heartache all right so let's we got to move out of this solemn solemn um, state of mind because you guys are having some really good energy coming back to you this is a definitely unfinished business there's a lot of love here and i i feel that if you don't um, embody that feeling of love for this person this is not going to be your read because this is a very loving loving read and this person's going to come through and surprise you i'm almost like i in tears um because this is so beautiful you know this is like not a lot of people are going to see this kind of shit happen libra and this person adores you and they're going to come through and tell you that and i feel like you're you could look at this read right here and just kind of be sitting in a daze like no or doubtful or whatever but you have to be like you have to be holding out hope man i've done a lot of reads for people you guys and i've been able to um it, to show what will happen and these people are coming back and they're saying this and this and this is happening so 30 days from now i'm telling you man this shit's gonna happen this person's gonna come back and be like boom i love you all right you got uh, Li libra gemini and Taurus so you could be dealing with a Libra a Gemini or Taurus and let's see what initials are coming through and just remember this right here is what's important the um the zodiac signs and the initials are just a bonus all right so let's see what we got this is yours or their first middle or last we have a G Z B O I, J, and R. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I hope that if this resonates, you'll like the video so that other people going through this um, has the opportunity to see these beautiful messages. You guys take it easy.